Now, if you've played CSGO for a while, you're probably pretty familiar with the fact that Valve runs discounts. You've got your 75% off discount. You've even got CSGO Prime going on discount every blue moon. But did you know there's a hidden discount going on right now that's only available to a select few amount of people? But depending on where you're at right now, it could save you up to almost 25% if you're looking to buy into Paris. The sponsor for today's video is SkinSwap. Now, SkinSwap is the premier place for CSGO skins and Rust skins. They've got a trading feature with highly competitive rates, they've got a super easy to use selling feature, and if you're looking to deposit today, you're going to be getting a 40% bonus on your deposit. And the best thing, if you sign up with the link in the description, you're going to be getting a free case worth up to $150. So what are you waiting for? Join today and fill all of your CSGO skin needs. Now for this to make sense, we have to go back to Stockholm 2021, where Valve pulled their biggest blunder for majors yet, and allowed people using the Turkish currency to buy capsules for almost 50% off of the already 75% off price point, potentially 13 cents a piece. And this would start Valve's two year battle with trying to keep up with major currencies that are fluctuating significantly. And that's exactly what's going on here. I have gathered the data of the 39 most prominent currencies out there, which also happens to be every currency you can use on Steam, and 24 of them are currently overpaying for Paris capsules. 14 of them are underpaying and one is the USD which is staying consistent at 25 cents. Now as much as I would love to take all the credit for this, the credit comes from this website right here, steamassets.com. They've got the 39 most prominent currencies out there with all of their current rates and yes it is updated. However what they don't have is the current updated rate to USD or any stable currency to give it a bit of perspective. So that's exactly what I got for you. Now looking at these we've got the USD at 25 cents and that's obviously got to be our baseline considering Valve is located in Washington State, which is in the United States. However, I want to point out the fact that this is actually below average. That's because our average for all of these currencies, including USD, is actually 25.53 cents per capsule, as you can see by this graph represented with the mean and the standard deviation. Basically speaking, Valve is probably not too worried about these at this time because they know their average capsule price is actually above what they've set it to, which is why they're not focusing in on these smaller currencies where people could potentially exploit it for up to 13% off because their overall average price is still high enough. However, this is your data right here and the first thing you're going to notice is there is a lot of red and that goes back to what we just mentioned with that being most people are actually overpaying for these capsules. However, there's a couple really bad offenders. The worst is going to be the Swiss franc coming in at almost 29 cents per capsule. I mean, that's about as close as you can get to 29 cents, almost a 16% difference. But the biggest one I want to point out is actually the second worst offender, which is the Euro. For me, I find this so surprising because the Euro is one of the currencies on this list that is used consistently by more than one country. The Euro is used by a lot of countries and a lot of big CSGO countries, if that. Therefore, Valve is just straight up robbing these people. However, we've also got some currencies that are winning because of this. Third place is going to the Turkish Lira, which most people expected at 22.74 cents USD. Second place is a little bit interesting because it actually goes to the Russian ruble coming in at 22.16 cents USD or 11.36% discount of what the USD standard price is. And first place is going to the Argentine peso at 21.81 cents USD or 12.76% off. If you're wondering what all of these currencies together looks like, it's right here. And you can see it's a very wide range for something that should be relatively similar. Now take in your most expensive and your least expensive price point, you get a difference of almost 25%, which is very significant, but also really obvious when we look at a site like Buff. We can see here on Buff, they're sitting at almost 18 cents all across the board, and that makes sense because most of these people potentially aren't buying at 25 cents. They could be buying at about 21 or 22 cents, as we just saw, which gives them such a significant advantage considering they can undercut the competition very easily if they wanted to. Now, one really interesting thing about this is if we want to look at the cheapest seller for all of these capsules, it's different all across the board. However, there's one thing that's consistent. If we click on the person who's selling, their inventory is either private on buff, which is a really weird thing to do, 
or they're only selling these capsules and have only been selling these capsules, which is a really interesting event, providing that these people potentially are not obtaining the capsules in the most legitimate way. And something I want to make very clear in this example is that I don't think a lot of these people who are currently selling are doing that. I don't think they're people who are buying off the Turkish Lira or the Russian Ruble. What I think is happening is that a couple people on those currencies have potentially sold at lower rates, which hurts everyone considering they can undercut the market without hurting themselves a ton, but it hurts everyone else a very significant amount. Now I went ahead and purchased a capsule in the name of science, and what I found was really interesting. The account that sent me the capsule was this one right here, 186. But there's only a couple people on the friends list, but even more interesting is every account here has a game ban, which leads me to suspect that someone is potentially purchasing these accounts on the secondary market and using them for storage or just to buy capsules so they're not linked to one direct account. Now what this means for you is actually a little bit more beneficial than it was two years ago. That's because Valve has already begun to crack down on people using VPNs to get cheaper locations quite a while ago, and that's really good considering those were the biggest culprits when we talk about the mass currency massacre of 2021 with Stockholm. That's because a lot of those people who were buying on the Turkish currency were using a VPN to do so, and that's something that Valve has gone very strictly against and started banning and relocating accounts months ago. Now, if you want to mitigate your risk as much as possible, it's actually not too complicated to do. Unfortunately, we can't talk on stickers, but if we're talking about the capsules themselves, it's almost guaranteed going to be the best time to buy when Valve announces the end of the sale. That's because at that point, you can see exactly what has happened if we've seen any major currency conversion errors, or if we're just seeing a pretty normal market. As we saw earlier, there's a major variance between these currencies, but it's still somewhat normal, as crazy as that may sound. And that's something you really have to keep in perspective when we're talking about this. CSGO investing is a super small niche inside of a very large game. And the truth is, a lot of the overall success of the Paris capsules is going to be defined as what happens afterwards. How is the demand held afterwards, and who's willing to spend a significant amount of money to go ahead and open up a lot of these capsules? And looking at the hollows inside of these capsules, we're still seeing the same odd trend, where a lot of these hollows have extremely high price points. I want to make it very clear that we're almost a month into the sale, and if we want to look at happened previously when we're about a month into the sale, it's completely unlike what we're seeing with Paris. A lot of previous sales about a month in is when we start to see at least some drop-offs happen, especially even for the more popular stickers. What we're seeing right here for Paris is the complete opposite, where we're seeing really sustained prices, especially for a lot of these hollows. Now the one thing to go along with this is if we want to look at the Cloud9 hollow from Antwerp, we can see that it took about two months for it to start decreasing in price just because the demand was so high for it, and that's possibly what we could be seeing here with the Paris hollows. Now this is actually really beneficial if you're a capsule investor, specifically because that means most likely a lot of these capsules are going to have very high demand after they've been removed from the shop if these price points continue at their current levels. Obviously we don't know, but just remember there's always two sides to everything. But that's all I got. I want to get so much watching